Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and first impression over these Soap & Glory eyeshadow palettes. I haven't heard anybody talking about these and my stepmom recently picked, I think it was this one up for me and then we also had this one. So I was like, okay, we're gonna do a video over these. I really wanna try them out and review, review them for you guys. Um, I'm currently doing a first impression and review over the Flower Beauty BB Cream and um, that video will probably be up before this. So I'll put a card or link it down below. But yeah, today's video is going to be over these eyeshadow palettes. Um, I already uh, concealed and did my brows or anything like that, so it's just going to be strictly eyeshadow review. So I have two palettes right here. This one is the Ultimate Collection. This is from Soap & Glory, obviously. This is completely all matte, and it's a nice all matte shadow uh, eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I said shadow, but um, it actually has all the all the colors that you would need to create a look. These run about $20 at Sephora. At Sephora? What is with me today? I mean, at Ulta. Run about $20 at Ulta, and um, you know, you really have all the shades you need. You have a matte cream, you have nice browns for transition shades, you actually have a really nice pigmented black. Like, act, that black actually is really black. You have a nice kind of pink, nice browns, a nice blue. Like, you can really create a full matte smoky eye if you wanted to or something very simple. And then the next one that we have right here, I believe you can only buy it like Walgreens. This is the Perfect Tin Limited Edition Tin Shade Eyeshadow Palette. This one is so pretty because I honestly love the color scheme. It's kind of those rosy, mauvey, pinky tones. I love this one right here called Damsel. Copper is really pretty. You know, you can't get a full look out of this because there's only two matte shades. That's why I wanted to review these both together. That way I had um, two options, you know, lots of mattes, lots of shimmers to create something. But this is really pretty also. I believe this one does run about $20, but you cannot buy this at Ulta. So I will link both those palettes down below and everything, but we're going to just go ahead and get started. So I've only used these once before and I love the look that I created with it, but now I'm, I'm gonna do a different look. I won't do this same one again. So I'm just going to go into the Ulta matte collection. I'm going to take that cream shade which is Cat Got The and then da 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 da. So <laughs> that's kind of a cute name. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and set my eyes with this. I already set my eyes with powder but you know just to be extra safe we can set them again. So like I said in this uh, limited edition one there's only two mattes so it's kind of hard to create something with these, so I'm going to go off a lot of mattes in this palette. So first off, I'm going to take a semi kind of fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade, take a sand, which is this second kind of light brown shade. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone and these are really pigmented, but when you dip your brush into the pan, you definitely get some kick up and some powder. So if you're not a fan of that, definitely would not recommend these shadows. Other than that, it doesn't really bother me. So we're going to apply this into our crease. So really pigmented. I mean, you can see the color that just came off of there. So now that we have a nice solid crease color down, now I'm gonna go with something a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna start working some more of these kind of like mauve shades in, cause I wanna do a more mauve look. So I'm gonna go in with Toasty, which is kind of like a mauve purple pink shade. And on a little more of a defined brush, I'm going to dip into this and start applying below that transition shade. These blend out really nicely and they're really quite pigmented actually. So I like these so far. Do I think they're worth, you know, the $20 price tag? Um, I don't know, I'm not too sure. We'll have to try out their shimmer, like one of the shimmers for the lid first before I give my Final, final thought. But just from those two matte shades, they look really nice and they're blending together nicely. So now I'm gonna go in with my more precise brush and a darker color on our outer V. And I'm gonna be spontaneous. I'm gonna use this blue. This blue is called Stone Age. And on a little bit more of a denser brush, I'm going to pick this up. And the blue doesn't seem to be as pigmented as I was hoping. Oh, it's got some color. We got some color coming off. So I'm gonna work this into our outer V and these do come with mirrors. They're just really tiny and kind of a pain in the butt if you ask me to use 
I don't know why I wanted to use blue. Something about the blue was just speaking to me. And then for our um, eyelid, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more. For our eyelid, see how, oh, totally off track. See how pretty they are all blended together. They look really nice. I like the way they look. I wish I could have put tape down first to get a line. But oh well, um, we're going to go in with the Perfect 10 palette and I'm going to take like that purple. I'm gonna take Plum Shoe-ish. It's like this really pretty purple. It almost looks duochrome, but it's not. It's really pretty though. It has like a bit of a duochrome reflect to it, like a bit of a blue. So I'm going to apply that all over my lid and I'm taking a MAC 242. Oh, that's pigmented. That's pretty, oh, I like this. Normally I don't go in with purples. I'm just, I'm a so, I'm such a neutral person. Like I try to get out of my comfort zone, I really do. And like this is out of my comfort zone right now because it's the blues and the purples and I like the mauve shades, so that's really not too far out of it, but it's definitely more different. So that purple gets thumbs up for me. That one's pretty. So I'm gonna go back in with our blending brush and blend out the edges. And then I'm going to go back in with that first matte blue shade. And I'm going to add a little bit more to our outer V here. Okay, so I just had to wipe off the edges and get a line because I could not stand not having a line. And we're just going to blend a little bit more here. But that's all I think I'm gonna do, not too dramatic because I do have to go out in public today. But I'm going to apply some mascara and do my liner thing and then I'll come back and do the um, lower lash line. Okay, so I put on liner and mascara and now we're going to finish the lower lash line and I'm not gonna do too much dramatic stuff there, but just a little bit. I'm going to take a mix of the blue, which is Stone Age, and then the Take a Sand, the very first shade that we use. And I am going to mix those together and then uh, apply it on my lower lash line. So noticing up close, I definitely did get some fallout from these shadows. I'm starting to notice it right here on the sides of my nose, but just a little bit, it's not too, too much. So this is the finished product for the eyes. I actually really like it. I was able to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and use those purples and those blues and really smoke it out. And it looks good with my um, lashes. I use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I actually really like this mascara. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And you can tell, you know, the shades look really nice. The purple on the lid, I feel like really pops and it looks good. So my overall impression of these palettes, if you are a beginner or um, you may, maybe you don't have mattes in your collection, this is a really nice palette to have. Or maybe if you don't like shimmers, you like all mattes. That's how my stepmom is. Um, this is a really good palette to have, especially if you don't want to splurge on like the Kat Von D shade and light. This is really good and you get a full range of colors that are pigmented and beautiful and blend nicely. So I really, really like this one. As for the Perfect 10 one, um, if I had to make uh, one complaint about it, it'd probably be that there's not enough mattes in here to co put, like completely create a full look. You know, there's all these shimmers and there's only these two mauve kind of matte shades and one's just honestly a little bit lighter than the other one. Do I think you need this palette? Um, I, I don't think you need it. I think you would be better off honestly with the matte one. Um, but if you're a person who likes me or you know a makeup collector or a person who just really likes makeup in general, this is really nice to have because of these kind of purpley pinky mauve tones. So I will find both of these palettes and link them down below for you guys just in case you are interested. You can find this one at Ulta like I did say. I believe this one you can only find at like Walgreens or CVS. Um, wherever, whichever one of those places sell Soap and Glory, I believe it's just Walgreens. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you have any other eyeshadow palettes that you want me to try out, comment down below, let me know. Drugstore or high end, I'm always looking to try out new things. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.